kind of looks like it's starting to rise now. So these are the ingredients. It says that you need two to three very ripe bananas. Here are my two to three very ripe bananas. I love bananas, so I used three for more of a banana -y taste, I guess you could say. Um, you need one third cup of melted butter. So here we saw butter. One teaspoon of baking soda, which is this thing. Um, this is one of the things I'm worried about. I'm not really sure if this baking soda is I don't know if it's gonna work. Next we need a pinch of salt, so I just have this salt here. I know for a fact this is salt, I've been using it in all my food. Three fourths cup sugar, which is right here. Luckily this has sugar on it, <laughs> so I can't really make a mistake with that one. One large egg beaten, here's my egg. Not yet beaten, but it's here. <laughs> and, oh, two more things. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is one of the weirdest things I had to pick up. It looks like this. I asked the lady how to, like, if they had vanilla, because I'm used to the extract being liquid, you know? And this is like a powder, but this is what she showed me. I'm kind of worried about this. Okay, and the last thing is one and a half cups of all-purpose flour right here. So yeah, very easy. Okay, so first thing, I'm just going to... Take this bowl right here, oh, and mash my bananas in it. Oh, by the way, the oven is preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 175 degrees Celsius here. It says to butter. I think it's preheated already. Ah, gotta get going. Okay. If this turns out well, though, I'm probably gonna give some to my neighbor. Hopefully she'll like it. I don't know if she's ever had banana bread. So I'm just, this is probably not a good way to do this. It says to butter the pan. So that is what I will do. Like this. Bam, nice and buttered. I'm also praying that this is gonna be okay in the oven. Um, Cause I'm not so sure, but it's like, it's glass, so it should. Bananas are like one of my favorite fruits, but I don't know if it's just me. I hate the strings on them. Like every time I eat a banana, I peel the strings off. I just can't do it, man. I don't know why my neighbors are so loud right now. Do you hear that? And there's like, uh... Someone's knocking on my door. You know how I was talking about all the noises outside, but there were people right in front of my house. There were two guys on a motorcycle and two girls that were on the back of their motorcycles and the girls got off and knocked on my door so I put the camera away so it wouldn't seem like a weirdo when I opened it <laughs> and then uh, I opened it and went outside and the girl started speaking to me in Greek and um, I was like, I'm sorry, I'm, I don't know Greek very well and they were like, oh, you're a tourist so I was like, yeah <laughs> they are like, oh, uh, never mind and they got back on the bikes and drove away I was like, uh, they looked around my age. I don't know. I'm, I really want to know what they wanted. Like if I had said I'm not a tourist and I spoke Greek to them, I wonder what they would have asked me or what they were doing at my house. I don't know. Hmm. Now I feel like I'm just going to think about that all night. Anyways, back to baking. <laughs> also, we're losing daylight at a rapid pace. So, I don't know how great of quality this video is going to be. I'm like, I just want to know. Why they were here? Like, I don't understand. Who are you guys? And to be very honest with you, you could totally go more ripe. Um, the riper, the sweeter they are, and the easier they are to mash. Dude, like, now I'm kind of sad, because the second they were like, are you a tourist? I was like, yeah. And I started, like, retreating back into the house. And I wish I would have, like, asked them, do you want to be friends? <laughs> because, like, all of my other Greek friends went back to Athens. I mean, there's still a couple on the island, but... Yeah, most of them go to school in Athens. So I need some friends, man. Like, look at me. It's totally legal for me to go out and party and drink here. And I'm at home at 6.51 p.m. making banana bread. Stir the melted butter. I should have probably been melting the butter while that was being done. I think it'll be really easy to melt in here. This is like a container for Greek coffee, but it's a good size. And it says I need one third of a cup. Also, this shirt at this angle makes me look like a balloon, but we're just gonna ignore that, okay? What's up, guys? It's becoming increasingly dark in here. One more. So this is the very last line of defense, like the very last light I can use, but daylight is leaving, so this lighting is gonna be a lot more orange. What you missed, the butter is melted now. So now I'm just mixing the butter in with my mashed bananas. 
This mixture looks very gross, but it smells good. Now I'm actually going to switch to a bigger bowl for the rest of this. So now it says to add in my baking soda and um, salt. It says one teaspoon. So if this is like not the baking soda I was looking for, at least it's like only a teaspoon and I'm praying it won't make too much of a difference. Even though this is like a very important ingredient. I don't have any of the little like teaspoon, tablespoon measuring things. So I just have this. Now for salt, it's a pinch. So I'm just going to use the little shaker a little bit. So for sugar, it says three fourths cup. And I'm just using two different measuring cups to make it three fourths because I didn't have uh, just a three fourth thing, you know? Now it says to add in a beaten egg, so I'm just going to use this container that I mashed the banana in to beat the egg. Um, I think I should wait a little bit of time before adding the egg in with the rest of the mixture. Since I just melted the butter, it may still be warm in here, and I don't want it to start cooking the egg in like chunks. Okay, right, I'm going to leave that on the side right there. This is the scary part, the vanilla extract. This is clearly not extract. It's like some powdered... Got that. I'm um, uh, most definitely gonna smell this first and see if it at least smells like vanilla. This doesn't smell like vanilla at all. I feel like I should maybe uh, try a little bit. Well, it said only a teaspoon of uh, vanilla, so I guess if I add a little bit of this, it's either right or it's wrong, but at least it's sweet, so it's not going to completely butcher the flavor. Um, and I'm definitely putting less than a teaspoon, just like a little bit of it. Oh yeah, this is cooled down now with the butter. So I'm gonna put in the eggy. And one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One cup. And a two cup. Oh, I mean one and a two cup. One and a half cups. Here's our half cup. The other day, I tried to make brownie in a mug. Uh, you know how you can just like microwave it and it cooks it in like a minute or something? And that's how I accidentally made that egg mistake. I had to melt butter first. I melted the butter, and the first two things you have to mix are the melted butter and the egg. So the second I added the egg into the melted butter, bam, it all went to sh**. The egg started cooking inside the mug. It was so gross, so I threw it away and gave up. Okay, uh, I'm not really sure how this consistency is, but I think this looks really nice. I feel like it's a thicker version of pancake batter. Okay, so I texted my aunt to make sure that the, the pan that I chose will be okay in the oven. So I have to check if she's gotten back to me because I'm really worried. I don't want it to break. I don't want the pan to break and I also don't want it to mess up the oven. Okay, she said, I'm not sure, honey. I guess you could try it, but you may have a big mess if it breaks. She put a little cheesy emoji like this. And she said, it looks nice and thick though. I feel like it would be okay with a question mark. So she's not so sure, but she seems more concerned that I would have a big mess if I, if it did break and not so much about like it messing anything else up. So as long as the worst case scenario is me having a lot to clean up, I'm gonna try it anyway. And blah bam. Ow. Just gonna spread it out a bit, put it in, and then we hope for the best. It says bake to 50 minutes to one hour, but since this is so thin, I think I'm gonna put it in for 30 minutes and then check on it. So it's in, now I'm gonna clean up this mess really quick. I will see you in 30 plus minutes. Okay, update. I know it's only been like, seven minutes but the fact that it hasn't risen at all makes me a little worried i feel like it's just gonna be a hockey puck so i guess i'm gonna have to search all of greece for an ice skating rink to go play hockey with it guys an update it's rising look just a little the next clip it'll be out of the oven and ready there it is it smells so good it did rise a little bit but not too much it doesn't seem like a hard dense you know what i mean it's still very bouncy and i can tell it's super moist uh, which makes me happy that I added in a little bit of extra butter. Oh my god, it smells so good. I'm really excited to try it. And if it turns out really good, I am gonna bring some to my neighbor. Hopefully she'll like it too. So I'm gonna let this cool off and I'll see you again in a second when I try it. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. But I finally got it all out of the pan. I'm just gonna try a little piece right here. This is actually really good. I will say it has a very clean taste, meaning it's not super sweet, but I like sweet, so I could have added some more sugar, but maybe next time. Hmm, good. Okay, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave this video a like and a comment letting me know what you thought, and let me know if you recreated this recipe. Bye, guys.